Hi guys and welcome to another iCreate video tutorial. Today we're going to take a closer look at Safari's abilities to save your passwords so that when you go to your favourite sites you can access them quickly and easily. First, open up Safari and choose Safari Preferences. Select the fourth tab along and you will immediately see all your saved passwords listed below. You will see the website they are associated with, as well as the username or email address, and the password on the right hand side. By default, autofill is switched on, which means that when you navigate to your favourite sites, your password and email address will be filled out automatically, and you can quickly log in by hitting return. You can switch this option off by unchecking this box, and if you switch it on again, you'll be prompted to add a password to your Mac so that when your screen unlocks you will need to enter it for extra security. This isn't required so you can choose not to do this but it is advised. You can remove a password at any time by highlighting it in the list and clicking remove but you can also right click on any of the options and copy your website, username or password to the clipboard. Naturally the latter of these requires an admin password before you can access the data. Alternatively, you can select the checkbox at the bottom of the page, which will show the password of the selected website. So if you check this box, again, you'll need to input an admin password. But once you have done that, you'll be able to see the password for your selected site, which is really useful if you've forgotten something important. When you're done, uncheck the box again to make sure everything is safe. That was a quick look at the password saving options in Safari. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to tune in next month for some more video tutorials from iCreate Magazine. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and head over to iCreateMagazine.com.